Today, I'm gonna to talk with you about how you can properly clean up after a hurricane has left your area. I'm Jeffrey Weiss with the Preparedness Network. We create videos on how to help you survive and thrive in any disaster or emergency situation. I hope you enjoy this video coming up. Please remember to like and subscribe so we can keep you up to date on all information. After a hurricane, the first thing you need to do is unplug all your electrical appliances. If you're standing in water, do not touch them. Go to your main power and turn that off. Wait a while, then go back and unplug individual appliances. Make sure you're not standing in water as you could be electrocuted. Get heavy duty gloves, like gardening gloves or utility gloves. Have sturdy shoes, not flip flops or tennis shoes. And if you can get something that's waterproof, that's even better. Wear long pants and shirts as much as possible. Have several tarps of different sizes so you can cover your roof, especially if you have severe roof damage. Next, we recommend you getting cans of spray paint. That way you can properly tag your house with your address and messages like, we're safe or need help. Remember, street signs and other landmarks may be missing due to hurricane damage. After the power goes out, many people open their windows to let cool air in, but this allows other things in, like insects, and those suckers can bite. So I recommend you get bug spray or citronella candles to keep bugs away. Citronella candles can also provide additional light sources, but please monitor those candles and don't leave them unattended. If you have small children, make sure you keep them out of reach. You should separate your garbage into three distinct piles. First is yard trimmings, like branches and bushes that may have been blown down. Next section will be your building debris, like fences and windows. The third will be your general garbage. After a hurricane, debris pickups may be varied, so you want to check with your local officials. You can also check with your local TV station, and they might even have an app that allows you to monitor emergency messages. Building debris should be separated from your plants and regular garbage as soon as possible. There might be a special collection for those items, so check for a location. Items you want to trash include food that have come into contact with flooded waters and dented cans. Be aware that microorganisms can grow as soon as the flood waters recede. And be careful of any foods that have a musty odor. Ensure that all debris have been kept away from power lines and fire hydrants. Keep your eyes out for snakes and other animals wandering around flooded areas. Be cautious if you're in Florida or other regions with crocodiles because they are not always the best thing to pet. Once waters have receded, keep your windows and doors open as much as possible to ventilate and dry the home. This will minimize mold damage. Have plenty of masks available as well as disinfectant for cleaning. It is an excellent idea to turn off all your utilities like gas, power, and water. Below you'll find a great video on exactly how to do that. Be sure to empty your refrigerator of all spoiled food, then use the food in your refrigerator first before going to dry goods. Remember that do not open your refrigerator or close your refrigerator very much because it starts to lose its refrigeration once the power goes out. Be sure to take photographs of your house before a hurricane hits, then after a hurricane you can bring new pictures to your insurance company. Some other valuable items you should consider are fans, mold conditioning chemicals to keep mold damage at bay, power washers to wash down your driveways and walkways, heavy duty rakes and brooms, chainsaws to cut the tree branches down. A portable generator is very useful. Generators come in three flavors, gas, propane, and both. I have a video that goes into depth and talks about generators and I'll put a link to that video below. Also below, I have a link to many of the items in this cleanup list. Just click any of the Amazon links and good shopping. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, I would love to hear them. Please enter them in the comments section below. Also, please remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you can get the up-to-date information to survive and thrive in any situation.